Greetings, Fortniteers, and happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. This is Chicky Seth. We're going to do a little father son duos match here. Played this yesterday with my son Kyle. We got pretty close to winning. If not for the last opponent, we would have taken this thing. As you can see, we're both in the lobby here using Spider Man Zero. We were supposed to get the first comic book in the Fortnite Marvel Zero War series. However, it has not shipped yet because I selected combined shipping and they wait until the second one comes and they ship them together. But that's another story for another day. And that's a story that Stanley did not create. Stanley is the creator of Spider-Man. He was the head honcho at Marvel Comics. A whole bunch of interesting characters here in the Battle Bus lobby. There's Darth Vader, there's Moon Knight in the distance. Got a bunch of Ramirez's popping up. Now let's head over to Fortnite Wiki. They have a quick little blurb on Spider-Man Zero. Battle ready, friendly neighborhood wall crawler. Spider-Man Zero is a Marvel series outfit in Fortnite Battle Royale that can be purchased in the item shop for 1500 V-Bucks or with the Spider-Man Zero bundle for 1800 V-Bucks. And check it out, we're both going to do the pointing thing in a moment. It's a classic. I believe the origin of the point started off in the 1970s comic. And they added a third Spider-Man to that set. Just checking out my quests here. Pick weeds around reality saplings. Headshot opponents with the two-shot shotgun. And I gotta find the grapple glove. The grappler glove is reminiscent of the Spider-Man web shooter from Chapter 3, Season 1, where they first introduced the Daily Bugle, which is where we're headed right now. Only makes sense with both Spider-Man Zero. Spider-Man's first alias is Peter Parker, who worked at the Daily Planet under J. Jonah Jameson, real hothead boss. We like to go for this smaller building here. I believe it's an apartment complex of sorts. Lots of loot. So heading back to Fortnite Wiki here. Spider-Man Zero can also be unlocked by redeeming a code in a copy of Fortnite Marvel Zero War Issue 1 for $5.99. It was first released in Chapter 3 Season 3 and is part of the Zero War set. Item Shop Appearances To date, 3 On the 19th, the 18th, and the 17th That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday News Tab Swinging into the shop soon? Check out the new Spider-Man Zero outfit Get it in-game starting tomorrow Ahead of its shop debut When you purchase a first print edition comic issue of Fortnite Marvel Zero War and it is not available on Marvel Comics website right now supposedly they'll all be available later in September if you want to wait that long that news board was dropped on June 7th which was last Tuesday and on June 17th which was Friday they dropped this your battle ready friendly neighborhood wall crawler is here Grab the Spider-Man Zero outfit in the shop now. And the shop would be the item shop, in case you're wondering. They also dropped this one on Friday. Spider-Man Zero bundle. Armored up and ready to swing into battle. I purchased that for myself and Kyle. We couldn't wait for our number one issue of Fortnite Marvel Zero War to show. So I kind of jumped the gun on that one. Trivia. Spider-Man Zero's ID is CIDA430 Athena Commando M Spectacle Web. If you guys have been picking up on it, most of the IDs are the same, except for the very last part. Maybe I should just read that one. Man, it looks like my son is just smashing through the floor. I used to work with my dad when I was growing up. My dad was a master carpenter, and he would have me do a lot of the grunt work since I wasn't that skilled. I remember one time, I had just taken a shower and I was all dressed up nice to pick up a date. And my father asked me on the way out to carry a whole bunch of shingles up to the second floor. 
we were re-roofing our house. I had to do it. So we're going to head back to Fortnite Wiki, and we're going to find out about the Spider-Man Zero Bundle, which is in the item shop also right now. It can be purchased for 1,800 V-Bucks. It was first released in Chapter 3, Season 3, and contains cosmetics from the Zero War set, and they go with the Spider-Man Zero outfit. Alright, someone's shooting at us. Got him, I just shot right through the wall. You ever have that happen? You're trying to build a wall, but someone shoots right through it. Shot my son by accident there, that's not good. And I believe his partner is somewhere around here. He's past the reboot van. We're going to head over there. We're going to creep over there, actually. Anyone remember the DC Comics character, the Creeper? He was yellow. Pretty cool character. I used to have that comic book. There he is. Got him. There's some great father-son teamwork right there. I'm pointing at my son right now. Great work, son. We're at the Daily Bugle here. So these are the cosmetics that you get with the Spider-Man Zero Bundle. Of course, you get the Spider-Man Zero outfit. The Spider-Drone Backblade. It's kind of creepy. The Web Slicer. And the Spidey Landing Emote. There was the Spider-Man Spray. You got that in the Battle Pass, Chapter 3, Season 1. And I wonder if they're going to stick an NPC here. Doctor Strange was walking around last season. Item shop appearances for the bundle. It's the same as the skin. Three. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here's the news they dropped on June 7th. Swinging into the item shop soon. Check out the new Spider-Man Zero outfit. Get it in game starting tomorrow ahead of its shop debut. When you purchase a first print edition comic issue of Fortnite Marvel Zero War. This is the same news as the skin. It's a pretty wacky skin. We're going to take you out of the game just for having that skin. And their opponent is over there somewhere. My son's fighting him, I think. I'm just going to load up my weapons. Where are you? And finishing touches. That was a Sith Trooper, wasn't it? That was some more great teamwork, father and son style. June 17th. Your battle-ready, friendly neighborhood wall crawler is here. Grab the Spider-Man Zero outfit in the shop now. I love my voice first thing in the morning. It's my favorite time to narrate. Too bad for my day job, otherwise I would do this in the morning every time. June 17th. Spider-Man Zero bundle. Armored up and ready to swing into battle. Sons and daughters, make sure to wish your father a happy Father's Day today. My dad has passed on. He died way back in 1998. On his birthday, that was coincidental, I had bought him a birthday present, which I did not get to give him. It was a parking for Polish only sign. It's a comedy sign, because he was Polish. And he never got to open it. That's unfortunate. My mom and sister were visiting from Connecticut. We were down in San Diego hanging out. Now, I had plans to call my dad on his birthday the following day. But my mom just flew back into town, and she called me that night to let me know that she flew in all right. And she said, your dad's standing here. You want to talk to him? So instead of calling my dad the next day on his birthday, which would have been too late because he would have already been dead, I talked to my dad one last time before he died. That was a blessing from above. I'm very thankful for that. So we're going to head over to Epic Games right now and just recap this news. This was dropped way back on June 8th, but it ties into the Spider-Man Zero outfit here. Fortnite Marvel Zero War, new five-issue comic book series starting June 8th. So that's already dropped last week. I'm still waiting on my first issue to come in the mail. If I had received that, I would have unlocked the Spider-Man Zero outfit. 
but instead I purchased the bundle in the item shop. Alright, here's the update they dropped on June 8th. This blog post incorrectly included the Marvel Comics digital version of the Fortnite Marvel Zero War Comics as a way to access certain Marvel-themed Fortnite cosmetic items. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. To clarify, you may only access these cosmetic items in the following two ways. Alright, here's the nitty gritty. Codes are included with physical versions of the comics. Alternatively, starting September 28th, paid Marvel Unlimited subscribers with a registered account who read all five issues on Marvel Unlimited up until October 28th will receive an email with a code for all six cosmetic items. I'm letting my son call the shots in this match, by the way. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. If you have bought Fortnite Marvel Zero War Issue 1 on Marvel Comics in error, please reach out to Marvel Customer Support, and they'll help provide next steps on getting these bonus cosmetics with proof of comic purchase. Here's a bounty right there. It's Iris. Got a few hits on her. My mouse is a little squirrely. Sometimes that happens. Don't forget I have 52-year-old wrists. They're not in the shape they used to be. I used to work 10 feet for an aerospace company. That destroyed my wrist. Plus guitar and video games. Sometimes you go to build a wall or a ramp, but it doesn't quite work out. So finally, I'm back up here looking for our opponent. My son has informed me that he took him out. And this was dropped on June 7th. Here's a look at the Fortnite cosmetic item associated with issue 1. The Spider-Man Zero outfit. You're looking at him right now, in this match. In Dublin. Here's the original article from way back on April 22nd. I love these rift to goes. You could grab your friends and you're all rifting. A fragment of the Zero Point has ended up in the Marvel Universe, so worlds collide as the hunt for the Zero Shard begins. Follow the story in the new five-issue comic book series, Fortnite Marvel Zero War. The Fortnite Marvel Zero War issues will be available in print at comic book stores and digitally via Marvel Unlimited. Each issue contains a code for a Fortnite cosmetic item, redeemable at fortnite.com forward slash redeem. The first issue releases on June 8 and includes a code for a Spider-Man based outfit. See the full release schedule below. We're going to go over this. Looks like we're taking Sanctuary at the Sanctuary. Here comes the storm right on cue. I don't always make it to the edge of the storm. And the storm reminds me that I gotta keep running. Just like that Ario Speedwagon song, Keep On Running. That was my very first concert, Ario Speedwagon and Survivor. Remember Survivor? They had that song, Eye of the Tiger, from the Rocky movie. That was a song, that was with their original singer. He only sang on the first album. And we're going to build a fort and hang out here for a bit. So I'm going to head back to epicgames.com and keep reading. Here is the full cosmetic release schedule for the Fortnite Marvel Zero War comic books. On June 8th, you would have received the Spider-Man based outfit. Available for purchase in the item shop at a later date, which already happened also on Friday. July 13th. Iron Man based wrap, available for purchase in the item shop at a later date. August 17th, Wolverine based pickaxe, available for purchase in the item shop at a later date. August 31st, spray based on Fortnite Marvel Zero War. Is that an item comic exclusive? Yes it is. You will not be seeing that in the item shop. And finally, September 28th, 
a loading screen based on Fortnite Marvel Zero War. That is also an item comic exclusive. Those who redeem all five cosmetic items will additionally unlock an outfit that will be granted in-game. This outfit will also be available for purchase in the item shop. What do you guys think it's going to be? Is it going to be a female skin? Or is it going to be Miles Morales, finally? Marvel Unlimited Subscriber. The five issues of Fortnite Marvel Zero War will be available on Marvel Unlimited at the release of the final issue in stores, which is September 28th. For a limited time, paid Marvel Unlimited subscribers with a registered account who read all five issues will unlock a code for the five cosmetic items, plus the additional outfit mentioned above. Have questions about the Fortnite cosmetic items or Fortnite Marvel Zero War availability? Well, see our FAQ below. That stands for Frequently Asked Questions. I'm not going to get into that, but if you want to check it out, head over to Fortnite.com and you all can see that for yourselves. Looks like my son has built a fort up here. He told me to get up here with him. I'm going to hang out here for a bit until the storm pushes us out. And there's something purple over there. I want to shoot that. Looks like it was a crow. And it dropped a purple assault rifle, I'm thinking. We're going to get a closer look. What is this? Yep, a ranger assault rifle in purple. I will take it. There's only four other opponents left in this game, so we're moving quickly to the end of the game. I'm surprised no one's come in here yet. We're going to head over to Marvel.com and see what they have to say about Fortnite Marvel Zero War number one. Published on June 8th, writer Christos Gage, penciler, Sergio Davila, cover artist, Linnell Francis Yu. The Marvel Universe collides with Fortnite. The inhabitants on the island are locked in what seems like a never-ending war, and only one thing has the potential to turn the tide, a crystallized fragment of the Zero Point that was cast into the Marvel Universe. Spider-Man and Wolverine team up with several Fortnite fighters and new recruit Shuri to hunt down the elusive Zero Shard. You might remember Shuri from the Black Panther movie. Will these allies be able to find it in time and avert catastrophe? And can the heroes of the Marvel and Fortnite realities hold off the imagined order long enough to give them a fighting chance? Epic Games' chief creative officer, Donald Mustard, teams up with veteran Marvel writer Christos Gage. He's responsible for spider Geddon and Avengers Academy, and artist Sergio de Villa. He's responsible for Captain Marvel for a five-part crossover event with enormous ramifications for both universes. Each first print issue contains a redeemable code to unlock a bonus digital cosmetic in Fortnite. See issue for details. And they have various variant covers. I got the original on each, of course. More details. Reading. Rated T+. That must stand for teen. Format. Comic. And price. $5.99. There's only two players left. I feel like they're up on the hill in that bush. It could be somewhere else, but that's my gut feeling here. That's what my spider senses are telling me. My son and I have been watching the Spider-Man movies. Which one is your favorite? Which Spider-Man is your favorite? There were three different actors. The first actor was in Spider-Man 1 through 3. Then they rebooted it for two more movies. Then they rebooted it yet again. I thought that was pretty neat how they brought everyone back for Spider-Man No Way Home. We are still waiting on Miles Morales to hit the item shop. Maybe he'll be the bonus code from the Fortnite Marvel Zero Wars comic books. Alright, the end of the game is shortly approaching. The storm is going to move us in about 30 seconds here. I 
should get shooting at us from the hillside. We might have to move now. They just keep knocking down our wall faster than we could build it. Or repair it. This is going to take a coordinated effort. Alright, Kyle's down. We'll take the clan down. Got him. Looks like he got me. Spider-Man Zero taken out by the original Spider-Man. We got pretty close to a victory royale there. That guy's got 14 crowns. I don't think I've gotten a crown yet this season. It's been pretty sweaty so far. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. A nice father and son match for Father's Day. Don't forget to support a creator. J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells... Jicky Seth. Wonder what my kids got me for Father's Day. Probably a tacky shirt or tie. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great fortnight.